coming to you from our GIS studios. I am Anitia Antoine and this is your Midday News Brief. St. Lucia's Minister for Tourism, Information and Broadcasting, Culture and Creative Industries, Honorable Dominic Fede, says regrettably the government has accepted the decision by British carrier Virgin Atlantic Airways to cease operations to St. Lucia. Honorable Dominic Fede revealed that government has been in dialogue with Virgin Atlantic Airways over the past few months with the view of sustaining the existing flight service from London Gatwick to Uranora International Airport. However, Virgin Atlantic was adamant that 20 million EC dollars or 7.5 million US dollars would be required to maintain five weekly flights in the winter months and three weekly flights in the summer months. Virgin Atlantic represents 7% of total global arrivals in St. Lucia. In the marketplace, St. Lucia remains a destination of choice for British travellers. As such, government has opened dialogue with at least one other carrier to fill the void. Honourable Dominic Fede indicated that government will continue to engage Virgin Atlantic to arrive at a mutually beneficial relationship in the future. With a contingent of 80 individuals, Team St. Lucia is hoping to make a statement with its presentation at Carifesta 14. With a mix of theatre, music, literary arts, performance poetry, traditional performances, visual arts, craft and fashion, the Cultural Development Foundation says this year its participants understand clearly the intention of the festival. This year's presentation will include performances of La Woz, and masquerade as well as a little folk tale. The Cultural Development Foundation is thankful for the contributions of all those who have invested in this year's participation, including the government of St. Lucia, in particular, the Minister Responsible for Culture and Creative Industries, Senator Honorable Fortuna Bell Rose. Carifesta 14 will take place in Trinidad and Tobago from the 16th to the 25th of August 2019. The St. Lucia Tourism Authority, FLTA, topped off the 7th annual St. Lucia Showcase North America with the Inspiro Gala Awards Dinner. From the Latin word Inspiro, which means to inspire or excite, travel partners continue to entice visitors to explore all that St. Lucia has to offer. Top achievers for the year 2018-2019 were recognized for their outstanding contributions to St. Lucia's tourism industry. Tour operators remain a viable and important part of SLTA's distribution strategy. Backed by the support of the local destination management companies, on Thursday, July 24th, travel partners earned awards in 13 categories for outstanding contribution to St. Lucia's tourism with the highest sales in room night. SLTA's Chief Executive Officer Beverly Nicholson Doty expressed gratitude to them for their continued partnership, commitment and dedication. This has been your Midday News Brief. Thank you for watching.